Hey gang, and welcome to Tantrum House HQ. I'm Will Meadows. And I'm Sarah Meadows. And today we've got Gekito from Simon in the red corner. And we've got King of Tokyo from Yellow in the blue corner. King of Tokyo is a King of the Hill style dice game in which players act as giant monsters who are fighting for control of the city. Players roll oversized dice in order to attack each other, collect victory points, health, or energy that they can use to purchase powerful special attack cards. The first player to earn 20 victory points or be the last man standing wins. Gekito is a dice game which pits players against each other in a bot battle arena. Players roll dice trying to achieve different poker combinations in order to attack their targets. Risk versus reward is the theme of this game as the more difficult combinations wield more devastating attacks, but a failed roll will injure the player himself. Each space on the board also grants players an advantage and an equal disadvantage as they battle for ultimate dominance. All right, so how do they stack up? They're both player elimination and come in the same size box. King of Tokyo takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play. And Gekito's 45. This one's two to six players. And two to four. Uh, Mechanic-wise, King of Tokyo is basically Yahtzee, but with cool monsters on top. Gekito has that plus board movement, risk versus reward, and the adrenaline mechanic where the more damage you take, the better you become. King of Tokyo has some really cool cardboard standees, lots of chunky dice. It has those spinner scoreboard things, and then it has those Energon cubes. But Gekito has R already painted large minis that make an awesome table presence. Overall, I enjoy the quickness and the fastness of King of Tokyo, and I find it less frustrating than Gekito. And I love that you feel like you're in a bot battle, just like in Big Hero 6. <laughs> That's how they stack up. Let us know how you think they throw down in the comments below, and then be sure to subscribe and follow us at TantrumHouse.com.